Hi everybody, welcome to another update for my hashtag 365 days of samples. Just gonna dive right in here and start with the products that I would not purchase the full size of because I have quite a few this week. So the first product is actually one of the Vice lipsticks. This is in the shade Naked. So I did get a little swatch out there and this might surprise some people that I would not purchase this particular lip color. I do believe I have a mini one from the previous version of the Urban Decay lipsticks. I don't really like this color. It just makes me look really yellow and it just it doesn't flatter my skin tone at all. Obviously I really love nude and pink lipsticks but this one just isn't right for me. It's a really good creamy formula though. I do love the formula of the Urban Decay lipsticks. I haven't tried a single one of all the different versions that I don't like. It just comes down to color preference. So this one just, it, it's not the most flattering color for me, so which is why I would pass. The next product that I would not purchase the full size of is the Drunk Elephant B Hydra Intensive Hydration Gel. The texture of this really grossed me out when I first used it because it is very much a gel. It is very, very thick. It actually really reminded me of like a hair gel. It had that kind of consistency. And when I put it on my face, it just sort of sat there for a little bit and then it eventually absorbed in and I was hoping it was going to be really hydrating because my skin has decided over the last couple of days to be really dry in certain areas and I didn't notice a single bit of hydration in my skin like it it didn't do anything I still had to use other products to try and give my skin some hydration it just was not working for me it just sounded so good when it said that it replenishes nutrients and visibly brightens and improves skin texture and tone and delivers intense skin hydration I just didn't notice any of that from using this um, over the couple of days that I used the sample just didn't notice any improvement so it was really kind of disappointing but you know, not every product's gonna work for every person. Next is the Jack Black Protein Booster Eye Rescue. And I was really keen on this one too because I love trying new eye products. I just am constantly trying to find something that's going to really hydrate and just nourish that under eye area. This was not it. It was very, very liquidy and really, really hard to get enough in that area because um, even just a tiny bit it would start to run down my face and just I needed it in my eye area not down my cheek so that was the problem I was having with this is that it was just way too liquidy for my skin and I just even what I could get underneath my eye area I didn't notice a huge difference or any kind of improvement and this was a quite quite a generous sample um, I used this for about four days so I feel like after four days not really being able to control the product because it was so so loose and then not really seeing a difference i can safely say that i would pass on this and lastly all three of the clinique products i would pass on um, the first one and excuse its dirtiness but this is the cleanser and this is the liquid facial soap oily skin formula decent cleanser it worked well enough to take my makeup off but it was nothing special it didn't leave my skin feeling good it just left my skin feeling clean so it's one of those things where it's like if somebody bought me this cleanser or like I got it for free I would use it but it's not something I would seek out to purchase myself the step step two is the exfoliant and this is the clarifying lotion number three so I really like the way that these are packaged I will say because they come on like a little makeup wipe type sheet instead of just being loose liquid in the package so you can rub your all over your face however this was super super drying for me just not not the right type for me this has alcohol in it and I tend to avoid toners that have alcohol in it because it will really dry my skin out and then my skin will tend to flake so maybe this will work for people who have really really oily skin like I can say it was really too intense for me and the last one step three is the dramatically different moisturizing gel so I'm not really surprised that I didn't like this I wasn't expecting to because I don't like gel moisturizers um, just it seems to be a thing I don't really like gel products because they don't really seem to work with my skin very well I just found that every time I used it it was just sort of sitting there and I just felt sticky like I like my skin to be hydrated and I like it to feel soft and silky I don't like it to feel sticky and that's definitely what gel products do and that's what this one did so 
All three of those were unfortunately fails for me. I have two products that I would like to try again. Um, the Shuamura cleansing oil shampoo and the cleansing oil conditioner. So when I first used it, um, I did only get one use of the conditioner. So that's when I knew I definitely had to try it again because I just, I wasn't sure. I got two uses out of the shampoo. Um, it's well, the last time I did wash my hair, I did use the, the shampoo and I'm kind of leaning towards really liking it. I was nervous about putting an oil on my, on my scalp, on my roots, because I tend to avoid any sort of deep hydration stuff in the roots of my hair because my the roots of my hair will get really really oily and the ends are the things that I really want to concentrate on but I decided to go for it and a couple minutes into it I was surprised at how clean my hair felt like of course you think oil and oil on your hair and I'm thinking grease ball but this stuff like just cleaned my hair and it felt so good just in the shower and I was like wow Wow, I was so impressed with just how, how easily it lathered and how good my my hair felt, how good my scalp felt. So, like, I'm kind of leaning towards it. That's why it's in the maybe. It's like, I, I, I want to kind of want to try it again. Like, I'm not 100%. Um, I did smell so good. I can't place the exact fragrance, it, but it just reminds me of being in, like, a luxury hair salon. Like, it's just that sort of scent and that's sort of the mood that it puts me in. The conditioner... I felt like there wasn't quite enough in the packet for my hair because I really load on conditioner um, to get my hair to be somewhat manageable. This, I felt like there wasn't quite enough in it for the one, one time I got to use it. I thought immediately when I first first used the two together and I was like, yeah, I'm definitely like, I'm totally in, into this. And then it was just the next day after, after using it and I hadn't dried my hair, I let it air dry and just my hair didn't look very good. And that's when I started to doubt it. It wasn't until I used the shampoo um, a couple days later when I was like, kind of like it. I kind of like it, but do I like it enough to purchase it? I don't know. I kind of want to get another sample. So I'm hoping that if I have to make another order online at Sephora, these will be available again because I really want to try, try it out again. And now for products that I would purchase the full size of, I'm not going to bore you guys talking about this thing again. This is the Dr. Dennis Gross Alpha Beta Ultra Gentle Daily Peel. As you know, I bought the full size of this a long time ago. I really love this. I find that it really makes my skin look smooth and beautiful and radiant. And it is one of the best products I found from doing this challenge. The next product I would purchase is the Clinique Pep Start Eye Cream. And I'm surprised because I just have not had very good luck with Clinique products, but I've really enjoyed this eye cream a lot. It wasn't heavy enough to use in the evening. Um, Pep Start, it's a morning thing. So I, and it has caffeine in it and I really loved using it in the morning and I did notice a difference in my under eye area um, throughout the day. I did notice that my under eyes were much brighter and there's definitely been times when I've skipped under eye concealer and I haven't felt too bad about it. And I actually skipped under eye concealer today, um, particularly just to say like, hey, I'm not wearing under eye concealer. Um, maybe I should, but I'm not and I don't really mind it. I didn't really like n notice. Um, a lot of darkness under my eyes and I do think that this has something to do with it because I've been using this really consistently so this is definitely going on my wish list to purchase. Alright so the sample box. Um, I am just going to pull this one out because I've really been wanting to try this. I actually found this in a Glamour magazine that I just bought and I've been tempted to use the products and I thought you know what I'll wait and keep it for this challenge because hey they're little samples. Um, I love when magazines include samples. I just find that it's so rare these days. And this is like the first magazine samples I've come across in a very long time. So these are Shiseido products. It's the Power Infusing Concentrate and the Power Infusing Eye Concentrate. And I think I've used the, the serum before, um, but I don't think I've used the eye one before. I just... I'm interested to try it, so that's why I decided to pull this one first. So because that set contains two items, I'm going to pick six samples to use. One, two, three, four, five, and... Oh, sounds like perfume! But we use those, I don't think. And six. So the first product I have here is from La Roche-Posay. And this is the Physiological Foaming Water. 
and there's only about half of it left because I had used this a long time ago so I will finish this up. I have what looks like a pretty large sample from Sunday Riley. It is the Luna Sleeping Night Oil. I got it sealed so for PM use, twist open capsule massage Luna oil into clean dry skin until no longer visible. Ooh, intrigue. Isn't that cute? It has five capsules in here for five days. I have a product from Hourglass. This is a foundation. This is the, it's the Immaculate Liquid Powder Foundation, which is actually what I wore today on my face. Um, this is in the shade Shell. And the shade I have is Pearl. And I believe Shell is actually the shade that I wanted to try because the one I'm using is for neutral undertones. And this is the one I believe for cool undertones. So I want to try this out. I love, I love this foundation. This is one of my favorite, favorite mattifying foundations. So I have from Tatcha the Classic Rice Enzyme Powder. Um, I've used this before and didn't like it, but I will try it again. From Becca, I have the Luminous Body Perfecting Mousse in Palm Beach. And so this is a revolutionary skin perfector that imparts subtle radiance and true bronze color. I'm kind of curious like right now about what this is going to do. Okay. It's a uh, it's bronzy, so it's very moussey for sure. I, I was scared it was going to be like super dark, but it looks kind of a little bit orange. But maybe I can mix it with something. It's for the body, so I don't know if I really want to put this on my face. I don't know. Has anybody ever used this stuff? And have they ever put it on their face? Let me know. I have a product from Dr. Jart. This is the Ceramidin Oil Balm, transforming balm to oil for super dry skin. Non-greasy, easily absorbed texture. Cool. This could be just what I needed this week. I did decide to pick out a fragrance. This one spoke to me. It's the Tokyo Milk Dark Tainted Love. And this one says it's dark vanilla bean, orchid, white tea, and sandalwood, which sounds like things that I like. So we will try this out and I've been in a very dark phase lately so you know dark scents are good scents. So that is everything for my update this week. As always let me know if you have any questions, comments, or concerns down below. I will get back to you as soon as I possibly can. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't already. It would mean so much to me and I really hope I will see you in my next video. Bye.